guys, it's Nurse Jet, Nurse of the Truth. I hope everyone is having a great day. So as each day goes by, I'm getting a little stronger and a little bit more pep in my step. So I'm probably only going to make this one video, maybe another one, but uh, I just want to clarify a few things. Um, this is going to be to one of my subscribers, Tahuti. Um, he or they commented on um, if I had an agenda, why do I speak about uh, Kemet or Africa so much? Um, really, why am I doing that? Well, first and foremost, I want to to reassure um, you and the subscribers that I have a deep interest in Egypt. I have a deep interest in history. I have a deep interest in truth. So as a truth seeker, you want to try to get to the bottom of all things if possible. I know that there's not a 100% real truth or absolute truth, but we try to find it as much as we can. So my enlightenment, as you may say, took place a, a little over three years ago, and I started putting things together, um, and it's taken me to this point. Um, I have read a lot of books, um, a lot of documents. I have stayed up countless hours um, researching libraries. I mean, right now I've got probably 10 books here are on my stand. I have two bookshelves, more books in a basket. Um, so, you know, I am a learned scholar, if you want to say. I mean, I didn't have to go to college for it. Um, so, it's just when you read and you try to put the puzzles together. I mean, there's a lot of people that have written books that did not go to college. Um, so, I just think that when you have something that's yearning inside of you, you um, have that interest. Um, or is it a little bit of your past life that is from there? Um, so I'm really not sure. So to my friendly subscriber, um, there is no agenda. Um, I want truth. And I feel like with the book that we have from 1611, that an identity was stolen. Now, I'm not going to say that, okay, let's just try to be a little clear here. The, the writers of the day, the people that are doing what they're doing now over there in that part of the world, you know, they took possibly words from Akhenaten or, you know, so forth and so on. Because Akhenaten thought that the people that he had was God's chosen people. So now you have a situation to where they have incorporated that and it looks like they're the chosen people. When in actuality, no one is a chosen people. Um, no one is better than the other. We're all on the same playing ground. Um, you know, hate is not going to take us anywhere. Only love and righteousness and truth is going to resonate and have a good vibration. Now, the people that were there and that part of the world were dark-skinned people. Um, that is something that has to be recognized, that has that has to be something that is clearly brought out, um, clearly by DNA markers, um, Afro-Asiac um, markers, and the Indo-Europeans is what has intermingled and intermixed, and the Mediterranean that come down, uh, it's just, it's, just what it is. So, I just wanted to clarify that. 
So, um, anyway, I hope that makes you feel better. I hope that um, this clarifies why I'm making my videos, why I'm showing the transatlantic slave trade, why I'm showing the maps, why I'm doing what I'm doing. It gives me great pleasure and great joy, and I'm very happy to expose the evil that is out there. And we all need to come together and expose it. So until next time, hope and I'll show you, and I love each and every one of you guys. So just like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends and family about me. Hit the notification button on your little computers or your iPods or whatever you have, my friends. And just know that I do my very best. And just send your vibes out for me when I go to work tomorrow. I really would appreciate it. Until next time, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.